friends welcome back to my channel hjr com tech today we are going to discuss how to implement the xnor gate by using the nand gate implementation of xnor gate by using nand gate what does it mean that means we have to get the output of the xnor gate by using nand gate so the output of the xnor gate is here i will write output of x nor gate is y equal to a bar b bar plus ab or you can write ab plus a bar b bar so y equal to a bar b bar plus ab is the output of x nor gate i want to get this output by using the nand gate but you can see plus symbol is there that means this is addition term but i want to get this uh, by using the nand but output of the nand gate is in the form of the multiplication pro or product term and its complement so i have to convert this addition term into multiplication and complement so first i will put p equal to a bar b bar and q equal to ab so this expression will become y equal to p plus q now by using the inversion law i will take the double complement of this expression so i can write y double equal to sorry y double complement is equal to p plus q double complement because inversion law says y double complement is equal to y now apply de morgan's theorem apply de morgan's theorem where p plus q bar is equal to p into p bar into q bar so this expression will become y double complement equal to p complement into q complement so p plus q whole bar is equal to p complement into sorry p complement into q complement now this upper complement is left so i will write that upper complement and now put the expression or values of the p and q back into this expression so equal to p is nothing but a bar b bar so i will write a bar b bar and its complement dot q is nothing but ab but i want q bar so its complement and this upper complement will remain as it is so actually this expression is nothing but the output of the x nor gate but now you can see there are product terms and complement is present so i can design this expression by using the nand gate so first term is a bar b bar and its complement so to get the a bar i need to use one nand gate input a its output a bar next input is b its output will be b bar so i got a bar as well as b bar then their multiplication and complement for this i have to use one more nand gate so the output of this nand gate will be its first input into its second input and its complement so i have finished with the first product term now see what is next product term that is ab complement so provide the input a and b to one nand gate its output will be ab complement now you can see i want multiplication of these two product terms and then its complement so i have to use one more nand gate so what will be the output of this nand gate first input a bar b bar and its complement then second input a b whole bar 
Now this NAND gate will take multiplication of the inputs and their whole complement. And this expression is nothing but actually A bar B bar plus AB. A bar B bar plus AB. And this is nothing but the output of the X NOR gate. So this is how we can implement the X NOR gate by using only the NAND gates. So you can see this circuit to implement one X NOR gate. How many NAND gates are required? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 NAND gates are required. So we can design any circuit by using only NAND gate and that's why NAND gate is also called as the universal gate. Now in the description box I am going to add the link for all the gates. How to implement those gates by using the NAND as well as NOR. So please do watch those videos also. And if you understand this video please don't forget to hit the like video subscribe my channel then uh, share it with your friends and most important don't forget to click on the bell icon also to get the notification of my next uploaded videos thank you